We live in 2025 and AI is all around us. AI has changed the way people create and consume content online, which is why it is so important to know what content is generated by AI and what is actually human generated content. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can use an AI detector. And the special tool that we're using today is called Winston AI. It's my favorite AI detector tool and you can find the link to use it in the description or the first comment of this video. But before we go into a detailed tutorial, let's talk a little bit about why AI detectors are important. First of all, they help to maintain trust. Like if you can run a content through AI detector and it comes across as human generated content, then you know that this is actually written by humans. It's not created by machines, uh, which also helps to prevent misinformation and deep fakes. We know how easy it is to create false information using AI. But if you can run any article through an AI detector and you know that it's not AI generated, so the trust factor is more in that kind of content. AI detectors also help support academic integrity, which means teachers and institutions can run the submissions that students provide through AI detectors to know that the students have actually put in effort and not just created their content using ChatGPT. And AI detectors also help platforms, social media platforms, news publishing platforms, all kind of media houses, etc., to combat spam and fake reviews. It's so important for e-commerce companies as well because we don't want some AI bot to write fake reviews for one product and boost its sales, right? So that, that leads us to the next question, who needs to use AI detectors? Teachers and educators, for sure, to maintain the academic integrity. Also, content creators and publishers, because all search engines, they do not tend to rank content that's generated by AI. So if you can make your content AI free, you have a better chance of ranking on search engines and a better chance of getting more views. Academic institutions and researchers, because these are the people who will maintain the academic integrity of students. Journalists and newsrooms, again, to prevent the misinformation that comes with using AI and to prevent causing a widespread panic for no reason. Marketing and SEO agencies to make sure that their content is free from AI so they can rank on Google and not be penalized. Also, legal professionals to check contracts, briefs, etc. are actually written by humans and not created by AI. So now that we have gotten this covered, let's go through a detailed tutorial of how you can use this cool AI detector tool called Winston AI. So when you go to the link in the description of this video, this is what you will see. Winston AI is my favorite AI detector tool and it's super easy to check if your content is generated by AI or not. It has a cool Chrome extension that you can integrate and automatically check uh, where, whenever you read any piece of content, if it's written by AI or not. You can integrate your WordPress, your Google Classroom, Microsoft Edge, and multiple browsers. Let's talk about how you can use it. So as you can see on your dashboard, there would be some options here. Uh, let's start with text scan, then we will go forward with image scan as well. So first, let's try text scan. I'm going to click on new text scan. So there are two options. Either you can upload a file, which can be a PDF file, or you can import from URL. Firstly, I'm going to test it on my own article. This is something I wrote recently and this is purely written by me. There is no AI in it. I'm going to share the friend link and let's paste it on Winston AI and see how it works. I pasted this and then I clicked on import URL and then we get a warning message that the formatting might be off but that's fine we don't really care about formatting what we care about is to check if this tool flags my text as AI written. When we are done we will have to click on start uh, scan text and then we have to wait for a few seconds. After that, we get this result. So we got a human score of 100% that this text is 100% uh, human generated. 
uh, and also the readability score is 80 out of 100 which means any sixth grader can read it it is easy to read and converse conversational english for consumers which is good that's a good sign that my text is not considered as ai generated by winston ai but what about text that is written by chat gpt specifically let's take a look at that as well so i have come to chat gpt and i'm going to give it a prompt uh, to write a short text so i wrote a prompt for chat gpt that write a short story on meeting my younger self for coffee the writer is 33 her younger self is 22 write some generic content about growing up never giving up self-love and growth in life make it sound human and relatable write it in such a manner that it makes the readers feel emotional and connected to the text i think that's a pretty cool prompt and i can see chat gpt <laughs> working really hard uh, to write it let's let's wait for a while and see where it goes so chat gpt has written something it is actually really good uh, it definitely sounds human let's try and uh, see if winston ai is able to understand that this is written by an ai tool so we go to text scan and then we have to start a new scan and then we are going to paste our text right here and i will name it test one so i have uh, pasted the text here and then we will click on scan text so this time we get a human score of 31 percent which means that an AI tool was likely used to generate all or a good part of the text. And the readability score is 76. Mm, not bad, but let's see. So when we scroll down on the scan results, we'll see some sentences are marked in red, which are uh, very less likely to be written by human. They have a human score of 0 0.49. But some of these sentences that ChatGPT wrote are actually good that they have come up in green and then the so basically the introduction and the conclusion seems to be written by ai but the middle part is seems to be written by a human so this is the results from chat gpt but let's see what claude can do in this case so we are going to open up claude and paste the same prompt that we use for chat gpt so I have opened up Claude and I just created a brand new account and I'm going to uh, paste, write my name here. Okay, so I'll acknowledge and con continue and let's begin. So I will paste my prompt that I used on chat GPT. Let's try to choose a style. Normal style is fine. Let's click on generate. So we did get some results from Claude. I'm going to copy it and then we will paste it on Winston AI and see how it goes. So we'll start a new scan and then we'll paste the text here and then I'll write the name as test to Claude and then I'll click on scan text. It seems Claude did not do as good a job as ChatGPT in disguising the AI generated part of it. As we can see, it only has a human score of 1%, which means it's highly probable that an AI text generation tool was used. And when we scroll down, we see that most of it has been flagged red with a zero human score. Only some parts have a good enough human score. But what if I ask Claude to humanize the content? Let me try use doing that. I just gave a prompt to Claude saying, uh, can you humanize this text? Make it sound like it was written by a woman in her 30s and feeling very emotional. Let's see if Claude is able to bypass the AI detector now. So we have uh, gotten a cool uh, story. I'm going to copy it uh, and then go over to Winston AI start a new scan paste it here write a new title and then click on scan text again we see that claude was not able to fool this cool ai detector because again we have seen a human score of only one percent 
Now that makes me wonder what about DeepSeek? It has been creating such a buzz over the internet. I just want to check if DeepSeek is any better than Claude or ChatGPT when it comes to bypassing an AI detector. Let's test it out. So this is DeepSeek's uh, new dashboard. I will paste the same prompt and then click on generate. This is very strange because the I'm reading the story. It's sort of similar to what ChatGPT wrote. Very interesting. So I'll just copy it here and head over to Winston AI. Start a new scan. And then paste it here. And then write a new name. And then click on scan text. Winston AI was able to detect the use of AI in DeepSeek perfectly because it says it's 0% AI and some of these sentences have a human score of 45, 50 but most of these have a human score of 0 which means uh, it is highly probable that an AI text generation tool was used. All right, that's interesting. So we have established that Winston AI is a very powerful AI detector. If, even when I tried three different tools, ChatGPT, Claude, and DeepSeek, I was still not able to bypass this Winston AI's AI detection platform. So I just want to know how is the image scan when it comes to Winston AI's detection tool. Let's try that out, shall we? I'll click on image scan and then I'll upload an image. I recently used BetterPick, which is one of the coolest AI headshot generator tools, to generate a bunch of headshots for myself. And this was one of my favorite headshots that I got from BetterPick. So I have uploaded that image here and I will click on scan for AI. So we can see that each image scan costs about 300 credits, which is fine. And let's wait a little bit to see what the results are. And here we can see that the image is 99% probable that is generated by AI and only 1% chance that it's human. Okay, that's fine because this is actually an AI image. Let's try another one. Now this is one of the images that I generated using a freelancer on Fiverr. Uh, this is also generated by AI but it looks so real to me. Let's try and scan for AI and see what Winston AI has to say for this image. Again, we can see that this was 96% probable that is generated by AI and only 4% chance that it's actually human. But what about an actual image clicked by an actual human? Let's try that. This is a real picture that was clicked during Nalcon a few weeks back. There has been no editing to this image, no AI image enhancement. This is a 100% real image that was clicked by my friend. I'm going to scan for AI and see what results we get. So we get that this is 99% uh, by a human, only 1% chance that is by AI. We also get the make and model of the phone that was being used. We also get a date. For actually, we get the date of the image. So the metadata of this image is available. Uh, very interesting. I did not know that Winston AI was this powerful that it can get the all the metadata from the image. So this is uh, full on technical. Let's not <laughs> go into that. But what we have established is that Winston AI is super powerful when it comes to detecting AI on text as well as in images. It also has a plagiarism checker. Let's try that as well. So I'm going to go to new text scan and I will paste my original story, uh, my original URL, which I clicked from my medium story. I'll paste my medium story here, click on import URL. Then I'll click on plagiarism and remove AI. And I'll also click on writing feedback. Let's see what kind of feedback we get for this writing. Then I will click on scan text. So we have come across a plagiarism score of 88%. <laughs> so yeah, like if you can see, like I met my younger self for coffee. She was 10 minutes. Like all these parts are supposed to be plagiarized. Uh, but it is plagiarized from my uh, article itself. Like 
if I click on this we get a list of where it was plagiarized from and we can see that the link is my article so actually this is not plagiarized but because I have published this already on the internet that's why it's showing up this result so if I ran this article through Winston AI's plagiarism checker before actually publishing it online then I'm sure I would have gotten a zero plagiarism score but this is an interesting feature to note let's look at the writing feedback so here that here we get that we could paraphrase it it is uh, for better flow consider rephrasing okay so i i wrote this uh, sentence in a very emotional manner uh, that you know very emotional very sentimental but it has given me a suggestion that we could make it sound very practical and very formal but I'm not interested in making my text sound practical because this is an emotional piece that came straight from the heart. So I will not uh, take this suggestion from Winston AI. Really, when we ask for writing feedback, this is more structured towards formal writing. So if you are writing a report, you're writing your thesis, if you're writing a news story, Winston AI is the best place to get some writing feedback to do a plagiarism check, to do an AI scan as well. And as I have shown you, it is super easy to use. There is, you don't need to be tech savvy. You don't need to know any extra special technical details or technical knowledge to use this cool tool called Winston AI. So if I have inspired you to try this tool, you can head over to the link in the description of this video or on the first comment, Click on the link and start trying out Winston AI today. I have used like six plus AI detectors so far and my favorite is Winston AI. I hope you found value in this video. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with me. I'll see you again super soon with my new video. Until then, stay awesome and keep hustling. Cheers!